Hello everyone, I am so, so sorry, I'm so late. Um, my dad today got the new Star Wars movie, The Force Awakens, and, and we watched it. Really cool, and... And if, the, if this, this is a spoiler alert, if you haven't watched the movie, really sad, but Han Solo dies. Kylo Ren kills him. Now, I don't get why, but anyway, this is NASCAR reviewing, not Star Wars reviewing. So, today the teams are going to be Richard Petty and Roush Fenway Racing. And I hope there's no cars I'm missing. I will be so sorry, and please tell me if there's any cars I'm missing. First, we'll remove the Eric Amarola Donnie's throwback. A really cool car. Dating back to Richard Petty. The STP. Let me zoom in here. Focus. 426CI. Classic 43. Really cool with that blue. And that orange. Go Air Force. Actually, though, the see this IR right here? I thought that was Junior Motorsports, but it's not. It's IR, and it stands for I don't know what it stands for, but it stands for something. And this logo right here is pretty cool. You need to go check it out for the Donington throwback. It's really cool. Let me see if I can get a zoom in on that. I think I don't can't really focus on it. Anyway, um. Pretty much it. Well, the race of the edge. That's pretty much it. Now let's move on to the car you'll see most of the time. The Smithfield. Helping Hungry Homes. Made in the USA. United States Air Force. No, I don't really get the. Why do they have the mufflers? Right there. On this side, you can obviously tell the mufflers do not go out here. The exhaust pipes do not go out right there. Turn on the other side, they got on that side too, but it does. I don't really get that. Classic Americana speed scheme. Stanley. Dude, it was a 14 out of 14 car. I think it was. Confusion. Now, we're going on to Roush Fenway Racing. First car up. Trevor Bain. He almost won the race at Texas. That would have been so cool if he won at Texas. It would have been most indefinitely a new guy who would have won. Got that Mark Warren 6. I don't care. His Darnton throwback was really cool, his paint scheme. Really cool. Getting back to Mark Martin. Um. So here's the uh. Well, in fact, there's a paint scheme actually right there. That um, Trevor Bain uh went back to. Even though he didn't have Alvin on his car, he had still had Avocare. The paint scheme though went with it. So that was another pretty cool thing. Really much it about the Trevor Bean. Now let's go on to Greg Biffle and the three M. This is I need to get his new car, his bug be gone because he has not raced this in a while. It's been taken over by Hendrick. Um sixteen. I really need to get that new car. But this will have to be temporary. Greg Biffle. Next will be the Ricky Sennel Jr. Fastenal. After Carl Edwards left in 2014, when the 99 left Rush Finway, Fastenal decided, no what though, let's take over the 17. So, Best Buy got um, taken off, and now Fastenal. Has a 17 and along with the zest. 
Also, too, when they reset at Texas, if you live in Texas, you know H-E-B. But what was pretty cool is that on the back rear, it actually had H-E-B on there. That was a pretty cool thing, though, that they had that on. It does not focus, though, it seems like. Pretty cool. That's it for today for team reviews, but, um, tomorrow... I'll have to see the what teams I got, but I know it's always going to be a uh, shoot. Um, Chip Ganassi Racing, which is going to be Jamie Mack and uh, Kyle Larson. Um, but here are some more darn good throwback cars: the NASCAR Lionel Authentics. Besides those that I said about the uh, Kurt Busch, Eric Almarola, Ryan Newman, Kurt Busch. Jimmy Johnson, Tony Stewart, Austin Dillon, and Chase Elliott. There was also, which I found that was pretty cool, they have a Brad Keselowski in his Miller Lite car. They also have a Budweiser for Kevin Harvick, which is really cool. Um, along with that, they have Danica. Um, going back to the Lady in Black. But, even though it has only black and green on there, which I don't think, though, that the paint scheme should have been red, white, and black, because that's the colors of Donovan. It's not green. It's not only green and black. And then, you cannot have a race. I meant not to have a race. Um, You cannot have, you cannot let Danica be alone. So, they have to have Ricky Stenhouse Jr., they got his car, they got, they have his Cargill, um, car, uh, and also, too, they got the Dell Earnhardt Jr., um, his Valvoline car. That's a pretty cool, it's rare. The lowest price that I saw was on eBay, and it was $18. It is extremely rare. And that's really it for this video. And also, since I got like a little bit more time, here are all the cars. For no, I thought I'll do it for another video. But here are some of the Texas Motor Speedway cars. My dad was in Oklahoma, and then he went to the Dickies 500 for November. Then I went to the 2013 race up in Texas Motor Speedway. Went to Martin's last race there. And also to the Duck Commander 500. 15 car. That's it for this video. Thank you for watching. Logano Fan 22 Pig Lover signing out. Bye.